Hello everybody and welcome back. The last time we talked about the blood constituents, we now knew all the blood constituents. Today we'll talk about the blood functions. The blood is very important as it carries food substances, waste substances such as urea, it carries oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones, active and inactive enzymes. So, the blood carries all this stuff, so it's very important. This is the first function of the blood. The second function of the blood is to control the metabolic rate. Through controlling something called the osmotic pressure. The metabolic rate is related to the process of metabolism. And as we mentioned in the metabolism video at the end of the digestion, the end of chapter 1, the metabolism is making use of the absorbed food. So it controls this metabolism by controlling the osmotic pressure. And also the osmotic pressure is called to the process of osmosis so it controls the flow of the food from the cells to the blood and from the blood to the cells and by allowing more food to go to the cells it increases the metabolic rate or the metabolism of the food and by allowing less food to pass to the cells it reduces or decreases the metabolism or the metabolic rate so there is another function of the blood also through this, it keeps the body temperature at its normal level, 37 degrees Celsius. So, this is another function also of the blood. The third function is that it protects the body It protects the body through the lymphatic products or the lymphatic cells. As I mentioned, that from the blood constituents, the main blood constituents are the white blood cells or the leukocytes, which are found inside the blood. They are formed from the lymphatic system and they engulf the microbes, they protect the body through. Uh, producing antibodies against the foreign molecules and though it protects the body. And at last, the blood protects itself through the action which is called the blood clotting. When a blood vessel is cut or teared, as as what happens in once, the blood clotting takes action. And the blood clotting, we'll talk about it in the next videos. So this was a function of the blood. Now we know all the stuff about the blood. The next video, I'll talk about the heart beats. How does the heart beat? So stay tuned. And thank you for watching. See you next time.